We have a design for a business card like this. Don't look at the design, I'm not much of a designer. The main thing is to show the principle. In general, we have a design and there is an Excel spreadsheet. We just copy it from here, then here Ctrl V paste. It doesn't matter how you paste in the ready object, text, or just Ctrl V, it will be automatically created. Here we have five entries, so we copy this business card five times. Select the text, select our business cards and pressing the Ctrl key press the replace button. We got business cards like this. But how to do it in detail see further. Hi everyone. Mr. Derevishkin with you again. I want to tell you about how the new Docker works with lists and now with insertion from Excel or from another table. But about this a little later. Let me show you how it works. We need to prepare some layout here we have a layout and pay attention if we need to have the text aligned exactly in the middle, we select this text block and align it as text not just as an object in the center, but exactly as text. The text box should be centered so that when we insert any long text it will be centered where we need it. Well, here we have a multi-line text, that is, if we put just shaped text one line we will be inserted as if one long sausage like this. But if we need it all to be inserted as if three lines, so we narrow the width. So we prepare the layout. And now we have data in an Excel spreadsheet. This Excel spreadsheet we copy Ctrl V paste it here. We have this spreadsheet as I said before you can just Ctrl V paste. You can start creating a text block and paste it here, it's not crucial. Let's say I just press Ctrl V and we have this data and this table. Now how to multiply it all. Look, we have headers, that is, the first line will be our variables that we will insert into our design i.e. full name position and phone number to pull them out from here there is again, again, read carefully the hint, on the replace button with the shift key. If it is a structured table, it recognizes it and with the shift key it pulls out the first headings from there. Now we want to apply these headings here. Of course, you can manually write it all here, but I have a button like this, of course. I've had this mini panel of buttons in the panel for a while now. The button with the letter T is the fonts. Read the hint what you can do here, you can set the font as the last object, that is the font itself. But if you read the whole hint alt shift set the text as the last one, that is, we can safely take the text value from our field. We take here, select from here and press alt shift, press T and the text is replaced. Then here we will have the position, we could write it all by hand actually, i.e. full name position phone number but we can do it this way, I think it's a little bit faster. Here we see that we have changed the length, but still the text is centered. Now we do not need these headings. Then we just duplicate business cards the number of times we need. In this case there are five of them and select. The first object we have to be a list, then I press shift, select all our designs and pressing the control key press replace. The macro worked and inserted here all our data. Of course, you will need to adjust them a little bit. I mean, somewhere we have different lengths of first and last names. Here we have everything normal and look where I have left empty lines in this table to show how it looks like in real life. If we insert an empty line, then we insert such a line specifically to make it noticeable, so that it will not be missed. We insert a header, that is, the number of the column from which the data is taken and the number of the row. That is, from the fourth line, 1, 2, 3, 4, here we have no position here, respectively we here and we must write, or just delete if we do not have data, we can just delete all this case if this data is not necessary. Or we can change it if we need it. In the same way you can try to copy tables directly from the site, i.e. we choose some list on a regular page and copy it by right-click Ctrl V and paste it here and it is also pasted as a structured list. Let's try to use the shifter to pull out all the headings from here. Great, they're all pulled out. Now we're doing our own design again. So we copy it a number of times. Select the list, select our design templates and press the Ctrl key to replace. 
the macro recognizes this as a list from Excel and replaces it. This way you can quickly insert some data and prepare templates. I think that now it will be much faster. I'll tell you briefly if it's not an Excel spreadsheet, but we want to create our own list. Here we have made our cities, now I want to translate these cities into English. There's nothing easier than that. Let's make a copy and make a copy here just in case. There are text objects, here we have a button to glue, click glue and a new text block is created. In this block we have a list of all the cities. We will take this list as a sample, that is control C, I copy it. Go to the translator and throw. Here we get English. Copy English from here, we need to create one list of Russian and the second list of English. Now we have a kind of two composite list the same number of lines and here the same number of lines. When we have prepared all the lists, we only need to select one, select the second and select the search area. We press the control button replace and we have one text field is replaced by other text fields according to the list. That is, what word in which line is so it replaces here and replaces. In this way you can either make some substitutions or as I did in this case translation into another language. You can sum scattered objects throughout your layout boldly like this list to throw in Google Translate and prepare a quick layout. If we don't have data in a ready Excel spreadsheet, we can make our own templates here. Let's say we make full name, position. I think it's enough to make two lines. And we'll have the same thing here. Here we'll write Ivanov, director, Petrov, deputy. Siderov, janitor. In this way we prepare two lists. If we have identical lists, he replaces them one to one if we have lists that are not equal. It is desirable, of course, that there was a multiple of the number, that is, here we have two records respectively here to be a multiple of two records, if three, that it was a multiple of three, but the macro will simply ignore unnecessary records. We have two lists and now we again need to make some templates. Let's say we have a template here. And here. Select the first column, that is, what we are looking for, then what to replace, and then where to replace. Again we press, replace, with the control key pressed. And get the result. In this way it was replaced. Now we can do a lot of things in Docker much faster. We can create lists ourselves, we can copy from websites, we can do it in Excel and quickly insert it all into our design. And then what we do, we select all these business cards, then we do automatic grouping, we group automatically everything we have grouped each object separately. Let's remove all the unnecessary things so that we don't have, although we can leave the principle. Let it be like this. We can spread it out on the page. We have print preparation and here we have for one and for all. On one is the opposite from all pages we collect in one page. But we need the opposite situation we click on all and we have each page created with a new design. Excellent. Well, and the first page we have left as it is. Now if we want to do the reverse situation. We want from all pages except the current one to collect on one. I click on one and here we have all the layouts from all pages here we flew to us. If you read the tooltip here you can automatically delete pages, if you don't need to, you can just delete them manually. There are tons of possibilities, read the hints, there is a lot of useful information there. Docker has tons of features and I will tell you about all of them in my videos. So subscribe to YouTube, look in the description under the video, follow the links, subscribe, get Docker use and save your time. Bye everybody. Be creative.